You know, Jimmy has been so lucky. We've been so lucky to watch LeBron James pretty much grow up right in front of our eyes Absolutely. from St. Vincent, St. Mary to the NBA to one of the greatest players of all time. Absolutely. Off the court, we're going to talk about him because boy, has he matured and he's found his voice. He's a voice for the people, a voice for the kids of Northeast Ohio, an influencer in a big way. The Cleveland Cavaliers select LeBron James. Way back when LeBron James came into the NBA right out of Akron St. Vincent St. Mary High School and fans flocked to see him play and they also waited to hear him speak and he was criticized for saying so little. Was it fair to come down so hard on LeBron? Absolutely not. He was a kid, you know, the kid from Akron and in actual years he was a teenager trying to navigate his own new life. But all of that has changed. And it changed after he left Cleveland for the first time and played for the Miami Heat. LeBron James became a champion on the court and found his voice. He was a man. He made the right decisions for on the court, but he also made the right decisions for off the court because he needed to grow up a little bit. The neighborhood slang of Trayvon Martin in Florida by George Zimmerman, that's when LeBron first spoke. Not in words, but in this picture with his Heat teammates all wearing the hooded sweatshirts. His words would come later at the ESPY Awards in a strong message. We all have to do better. His voice continues to be heard. Once considered a silent star, now he never ducks a hot issue. He's been told to just shut up and dribble by Fox News' Laura Ingram. And remember, he's paid the price when his California home was spray painted with racist graffiti the day before the NBA Finals, and yet, he marches on. I think that one hurt him deeply. Here you are, LeBron James, global icon, one of the greatest two or three players to ever play the game, beloved everywhere you go, to then be reduced to that. LeBron's most important social impact has come right in his own hometown. The LeBron James Family Foundation is his greatest piece of work in community. It all started by just giving kids bicycles, but then a chance to learn, an education, he asked kids and their families to make a promise to be accountable. And if they would do that, he would be there for them. To have the structure, to have the, the support system that I have from my hometown uh, allows me to continue to do what I do on my personal side. So, you know, my family is everything. You know, my personal family to my extended family here with these kids and the foundation. So um, it's all working in, this, in, in the right way. The I Promise School is now open and flourishing. And when he visits and sees what he's built, he absolutely melts, maybe even more than he did the day of the Cavs championship parade. And when he watches soon, his I Promise kids receive their college degrees. Well, what a feeling that will be. And now the foundation has even grown more. They've built a village, housing for those who need it. I think with LeBron James, there's no end line. Every day we're supposed to get up and see what how we can work harder and be better. So I would count on more things coming from the LeBron James Family Foundation. So where will this all go? LeBron's basketball days will come to an end at some point. And when he looks back, he'll see that he did become one of the greatest players of all time. He's a great father, something he never had himself. But most importantly, he's won the respect of people so that when he speaks, we listen. His impact off the court is going to be far greater than anything he accomplishes on the court. I wholeheartedly believe that.